What's going on, guys? This is Knasty390 here. Welcome back to another episode of Moneyball Franchise with the Oakland A's, episode number nine. It's been a little bit of uh, time since our last episode. I do apologize for that, but we are back at it. Now, with this Moneyball franchise, we cannot spend more than $25 million a year on the team, including all minor leaguers. It's been tough, but we've done, we've done pretty well. Um, we lost in the World Series year one. Year two, we missed the playoffs. This past year, we won 90 games, but lost in the ALCS to a stacked Yankees team who ended up winning the World Series, so. There's that. Now, our budget this year was at $25 million. We actually do have some players locked up, but we are going to lose some players potentially with Mejia, Almora, maybe Matt Olsen, um, maybe Jake Junis. So we have an offseason to get to, and I mentioned in the last episode, if you guys did see that, because uh, there's one player on the Yankees who did very well against us, and I told you guys I was going to get him. I'm a man of my word. We're getting Jordan Montgomery. He has a pretty team-friendly deal, $2.4 million a year. He pitched great during the regular season. He shut us out in the playoffs. He's exactly the type of player we're looking for. And I think we can get him for the simple fact that we're going to have players that we like, that have value, but we can't afford because they're going to start getting more expensive. I'm looking at you, Mejia, uh, Matt Olsen. Like, I like Matt Olsen, even though he had a down year, but if we can't afford him, we can trade him. So let's get into the offseason, boys. Uh, a couple players retired. Edwin Arcanacion retired off our bench. He only hit one home for, uh, one home run for us. So that's not really a huge loss. We have to get a hitting coach and a pitching coach. We'll do that eventually. We have no exclusive free agents. So, I mean, we'll probably never really because that means in year five, usually players make pretty good. Domingo Santana has exercised his option of be making $3.15 million in 2021. I have no problem with that, actually, because he's been great for us. Last year, he hit over 30 home runs, sold 20 bags, 287, a 379, a 480 uh, slash line. Not bad at all. Now, he's not a good defensive player, so we were using him at DH. But the dude can mash. If we can, if we need to put him in the outfield, <clears throat> he can play all three. I would probably only use him in left, maybe right. Uh, but, all right. So, let's just go to... Um, all right, Sean Manea has declined his contract option and, and became a free agent. But he's not, he's not an actual free agent. He only has four years of service time. We're probably going to have to move on from him. But we can use him to get Drum Montgomery, someone like that. <clears throat> and um, I said we have to spend $25 million on our payroll for the team. However, we can go over that in the offseason. So I can sign all these players who are, who are under team control knowing I'm going to trade them. That's fine. So, arbitration. Manea, he's wanting $7 million a year. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, he's well, I think he's well-deserving. He pitched great last year, 3 one seventy ERA. He's a 92 overall. I'm not paying him. Well, we'll give him the contract. <clears throat> he will then be traded. <laughs> our salary for a full team is $25 million. He cannot be making eight of it. <laughs> Matt Olson, he wants $7 million. Again, too expensive. We'll sign him just to trade him. Jake Junis had a great year for us. 3.7 for three years? I can. That is a potential option. It's actually going to be closer to like four. We'll see. Brendan Rodgers is up for arbitration. He was making 50000 a year. I mean, we could do the whole. Arbi- uh, his 40000 a year was the previous time. We could do. We go to arbitration. He wants 8.7. Again, another guy we're gonna I'm just gonna sign him and we're gonna move on from him. This is gonna be a busy offseason. <laughs> a very busy offseason. Jordan Hicks. 2.4 million. A little pricey. It's actually gonna be probably like 2.5. Kyle Ryan, a reliever, pitched really well for us. He was a midseason pickup. 1.4? Um maybe. That's a little pricey, but we'll see. Paul Blackburn pitched really well. This will be an interesting one. How much he's going to be? 3.3. Yeah. I mean, we'll like I said, we'll sign these guys. <clears throat> and then we'll make our moves. Sam, what's his face? He pitched pretty poor for us. I'll just, I mean, eh, 1.5. I don't think we can do better than that. I'm just going to sign him knowing that we'll trade him. Al Mora, I really want to keep around. But 5.8 is really pricey. Yeah, this is another guy. Damn, we're going to have to. Damn, damn, damn. It's going to be a busy episode. And then. Bergman, no, nah, I'm not going to pay $1.3 million for a long man. 
So, all right, uh, tender contract. So, Francisco Mejia, um, 1.6, I think it's okay. Oh, I can go lower than that. 970,000, I'm fine with that. Lozano can really hit. <laughs> He's a great utility guy for us. For the simple fact, he has terrible durability, but he can play first, second, third, short, and all three outfield. Only a C potential, but he's a player with value. So let's get him under a contract. And next, we can go very cheap with him. Glad he's okay with this. 65000 a year for a super utility guy. Estrada, I think, is going to be our first baseman moving forward. We can only give him a one-year deal. <clears throat> and I think the rest of these guys... Norris, I have no problem using him as our catcher. Um, our starting catcher, he can hit and he can f halfway decently field. If I can get him very cheap. Here we go, bring that down. Keep her going. 55,000. All right, I'm going to go through the rest, sign all these guys. I'll tell you if there's anything big we did, and we'll move on with the offseason. The offers have been made, so let's take a look at the lineup and kind of what we are working with. Stripling is cheap, so we got him. Triggs is still there. Blackburn, I will see how much, if we can keep him around. Klein, I think we can use this John Klein fella. He's a C potential 74 overall, but hey, he might work for us. Um, not a whole lot in the system other than that. Kovalenko is a guy who may be in a year or two, but not ready yet. Relievers, I think this is where... Um, where we might have some money that we can save. I mean, with Bleers making two million, that's a little pricey, but we'll see. And then Diaz is making four. I like having that anchor. Now we do have some youngsters here, with like Samuel. They're low overalls, but they could bump. They could get a big bump up if they do well. Mejia, I hope we can keep at catcher. If not, we can go with Bill. I'm okay with going with this Norris guy. Not gonna be amazing, but I mean, he should hit 270 maybe. Uh, Matt else we're gonna move on from, but we have Estrada. This dude can flat out hit, so he'll be our first baseman. Uh, second base, we have Perala, who's making 1.8. We might move on from him, even though he did hit over 300, but we'll figure it out. Lozano is a super utility guy. Third base, we have Senzel making nothing. Shortstop, we're going to move on from Rogers. We really, we have Hera, who we could, uh, Herrera, excuse me, who we could use. Again, he's kind of like another super utility guy, but he can field. Um, Peltier in left, who's on a team friendly contract. We might need a new center fielder, and then we have Santana in, as our DH, and then Duggan as our right fielder. So we kind of need to, and we can do moves on this, uh, but we have the ammunition to get players. So let's just send a few days to get these players to sign those contracts, and then we can move on from them. So Paxton's a Cub. Uh, Familia's an Oriole. Ken Giles is a National. All right, let's see if those players, we're still waiting on Almora. That's the only guy we're waiting on. Uh, everyone else sign, and what's our budget looking like? <laughs> $58 million. All right. <clears throat> well, I said I wanted Jordan Montgomery. So we are going to get Jordan Montgomery. Um, Matt Olson. The Yankees can't do it because of the money. The Yankees, they print money. I guess we have to take someone back. Okay, we can take David Robertson. We're just going to trade David Robertson. But we put Brendan Rodgers. Who is their shortstop currently? Tyler Wade. So actually, that is someone they need. I'm just thinking because we're going to be playing the Yankees. <laughs> they do want Matt Olson too because they have Craig Bird. And Matt Olson's clearly an upgrade. But they like Brendan Rodgers a lot. So, I mean, we get David Robertson, who we will trade. Um, but we need to take on salary back, which is just kind of funny. So, we get Joe Montgomery, who's going to be probably our ace. Because we're going to have to move on from Manaeus. So there we go. Now let's um, get... Let's trade him. And let's find a shortstop. Cheap. And hopefully under team control already. Um, right now I'm not seeing... A whole, I may have to wait to the very end of the offseason to make these moves. Because a lot of these youngsters aren't signed... That's probably what we're going to have to do. Man, Galvis is making good money. Um, Yeah, like none of these guys are signed yet. So, Correa's... 
Holy cow, what a contract on Korea. 2.09 million, and he has three years left. That can't be, that is right. We need to get this dude on our team. We need to get him. Oh, we can get him with Mejia. Okay. Okay. Matt Olsen. I would like to keep Mejia because we can use him for next year. 970,000. Um, we need to take our money back. Is there a bad contract somewhere? It's hilarious that we have to take money back. Oh, there we go. And I don't have to give up Mejia. We give up Manea, Matt Olsen, Robertson. We take back Brad Peacock's contract. But look at this. We get freaking Carlos Correa. And he has three years remaining making $2 million a year. That just set up our franchise. Trading within the division, too. Boom. So now we got to move. And I'm going to probably move Peacock 2.6. I'll just take like a prospect back. I only want like oh, I'll do that. Alvarez, what's this Alvarez kid looking like? He's an A potential. Good contact, not much power, good speed. What is his potential? Ninety four, nice. What's our budget now? We're down to thirty six. Now we still need a center fielder. We still need to get some more pitching. Let's go a few more days. Garrett Cole got traded back to the Pirates. And there's Correa, now an A. David Robertson, we traded. Uh, I mean, we traded a lot more than David Robertson. But Sinos and Oreo for Corbin and Familia. They just sound familiar, then trade him. Um, did Almora accept that deal? He has not. All right, let's continue. Actually, let's just go further into the offseason. Um, Wade Davis is a Met. Blake Parker's a Cub. Chris Archer's an Angel. Stroman's an Orioles. Orioles are making moves. Iglesias is a Giant. Quintana's a Dodger. Gossman's a Met. Carlos Martinez is now in the NL West. Ryan Healy and D. Gordon. Um, Rule 5 draft. We're going to have the number 26 pick in next year's first year player draft. I don't think there's going to be really any options here. Well, you take on whatever contract you get on a player, too, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. We'll just skip it. All right, so no one got taken in that. Let's see, did Amora sign that deal? He did. All right, so our budget is right now $42 million, but we're going to move on. We're going to move on from Amora. I think we're going to move on from Jake Junis. Uh, we're going to move on from... Tui Alvia, whatever his name is, we'll move on from him. Kyle Ryan will move on from. Uh, we need a new center fielder. Who's going to be cheap. All right, so Junis is $4 million. Damn. Um, well, let's see if we can. He'll be like the last guy we move. Kyle Ryan, that $1.5 million deal. It's too pricey for that type of reliever. I just want like, like a B potential guy back. And I only want one prospect. Here we go. Perfect. I only want one prospect back who's making nothing. Um, Tim Peterson's making 1.85 Oh no, 70 Why does it say 1.85 on the top? But I click here, it's only 70 It's only 70, that's weird um, Sam, we're going to move on from him Again, I just want 250,000 Who's making the money in that? I don't want this Sierra shortstop I just want Richer He's a B potential starter He's 18 years old Yeah, give me that Boom um, I might move on from Parala. We'll see. We need a new center fielder. Let's see what's out there. Ooh, Estevan Florial can really field. Has good speed. He did really well last year in only eighty-three games. He had ten home runs, three twenty-four average. Is he on the Yankees? He is. They can't do it because of money. Well, let's come back. We'll circle back. We can take on salary back. Eli Briggs, another good speed. Eh, I wish the contact first right was the better of the two. I'm actually thinking I might just take that guy from the Yankees. 
we'll just take salary back. Alex Verdugo? Eh. Wait, who was that? Rusny? <laughs> no. Not taking Rusny. Good speed, good durability, can play every day, but I actually kind of want him for the future. Oh, he has a ton of he has a ton of value. Um, if I put in Jake Junis, that is going to get the deal done. But I'll take this twenty-two-year-old. I like the fact that he can he should be a good fielder who can run and can play every day. I'm not sure how much of a bat he'll be. Let's wait on that first. Because um, I kind of want to keep Junus if I can. Bear. Yeah, I think it's going to be... So we're going to have to take on a bad contract back. It's, if it's the Yankees, they probably have a bad contract or two. Alright, there we go. Hendricks and Chad Green. We need, they need more back. Um, damn it, actually, this might be kind of tough. Ah, this is actually tough. Is Blackburn making 3.6? Oh, we can't do it because of money. How about this? Let's get rid of Elmora. And let's start with a Blackburn. How does that? They can't even do Blackburn's money. God damn it, Yankees. All right, let's look at other positions other than center. Let's look for like a left. Let's look for a right fielder, and we'll go back to left. Let's see if we can find a, a cheap option out there. Ideally, I want them to be under a million. Can't feel. I want a good fielder in center field too. I'm being kind of picky, relatively, but let's see. Piscotti's making two million. Former A. Oh, not in this. I trade him right away. Soto, two million. He is not a, a center fielder, and look at that value. Rightfully so. Kid's a stud. Um, hmm. Perkins. Eh, it's not a terrible player. He didn't have a good year. Let's see if we can do better than that. I mean, I could just go in house for our new for our center fielder. Let's just take a look at some left fielders and do our due diligence, see if we can find a kid who's making nothing. That's what we need. Mmm, some pop there, but he hasn't really performed yet. Yeah, I'm not sure there's gonna be a good option out here to be perfectly honest. Goodwin has that good fielding. But he's making 1.2, it's a little pricey. What was his on base? 346, that's actually not terrible. What was his wins above replacement? One. Eh. Come back to that. Ah, this is tough. This is... I mean, we could wait a little longer in, in the off season. Because right now, our outfield... I mean, we could go... Well, we really don't have, like, an in-house option. I guess if you want to put, like... Duggan can't play center. Peltier could play center. Um, let's just do some other moves. Well, let's still trade on Mora. Just get some prospects back. AJ Puck. We're getting a million back in seven. I don't want that. Sal Wagner, a short... St okay, that's an A potential. With three Bs. Ooh, I kind of want to see how good the starter is. Guzman. Ooh, I like him. 78 walks per nine. Not great stamina, but he's only 20 years old. Pavin Smith. We've had him in other franchises. And then Gabriel Maciel in right. Yeah, not too bad. That saves us over $6 million. Our budget is now at 33. We need to cut $8 million. Blackburn's 3.6. Now, he was great last year. But yeah, I don't know if we can trust him doing it again. Let's try to get some more prospects for him. A, a center field project, maybe. 
True Ellis. Nolan Gorn. Ooh. Mm, let's keep looking for prospects for Paul Blackburn. Fred Main. Great speed. He's a big time project. Can we get a reliever, which I wouldn't want to relieve, but I'll do that. We get a, a, a guy who could play center field in a couple years. And he looks like a true center fielder. Like, I'm not sure. If, well, no, the fielding's terrible. Let's just keep looking, actually. Um, hmm. Ray Sexton. A lot of these guys are just recent draft picks, so I don't know the names. Drew Ellis, you know, let's let's look at this Gomez guy. We never looked at him. Very similar to the other guy. Um, let's keep looking. A catcher prospect. We actually have a good amount of them, but hey, the more you have, ooh, an elite fielder making seventy k. I don't want this reliever making sixty two thousand. Sixty two thousand dollars we don't need. <laughs> All right, that saves us some money. Now let's move on from uh, Bleer. I'm going to go very young with the bullpen. That's what I'm doing. Mm, couple of Bs. Nothing crazy out of these prod, uh, prospects. I'll take this Pena kid. Wait, let's fix this. This Castro guy's probably making a ton, yeah. 127000 no. So it saves us roughly $2 million, and we're going to move on from Hicks, who's making $2 million. And I like Jordan Hicks, but uh, that's a little pricey. If we're keeping uh, Edward Diaz, which I want to keep. Ooh, a, a potential. Closer. Now, I'm not going to take Lucas Ursig, who's a big-time prospect. Not big-time, but he's a big prospect. Nice prospect. The mind just doesn't work. Um, ooh. I'll take this short stuff. There's like a super utility. Making only 63000 Now, what's our budget looking like? 25, okay, great. Now, we still need a center fielder, but we have Jake Junis still. So, let's take a look at the team and kind of what we're working with. We really just need a center fielder. Rotation of Montgomery, Junis, Stripling, Triggs, and we can go with Klein. Let's add him to the big league roster now. That's not bad. Uh, Bullpen, how much is Peterson making? 70000 I need to make sure that none of these guys are making, like, I'll do it in a second. Our bullpen, though, is going to be all these youngsters. Just super young. <laughs> and uh, it, it might be a weakness to our team. It really might be. But we can make moves or figure out like the... We'll figure out which guys are just not working, which ones are. I guess we'll keep uh, Molina and AAA. But there we go. We've got some nice catchers. How much is Norris making? 55000 May is making 900000 First base, we have Estrada. And we need a backup first baseman. Good fielder here, 71. I kind of want Pavin Smith to stay in the minors, so let's call up uh, Vertigan. You can put Pavin Smith in AAA. Peralta's at second. So Nick Senzel's at third. Correa's at short. We have Correa. Peltier, we need a center fielder. Santana's our DH, Duggan's our right fielder. Yeah, we just need a center fielder. So let's just go to the end of the offseason. And then we will see some... Uh, I'm not trading Diaz. He's like our anchor to our bullpen. All right, we are now need to hire our coaches. Need a hitting coach. Charles Nagy is going to be our hitting coach. He was a former pitcher for the, I know he pitched for several teams with the Indians. Uh, he's famous for giving up the game-winning hit to Edgar Winfrey in the 1997 World Series, among other things. He's going to be our hitting coach. <laughs> All right. So our budget is at the $25 million. We need a center fielder. Now let's see if any center fielders or guys got signed. Dahir may not be the worst option there. Basically, what? Ooh, I wouldn't mind Jaron Kendall. He's eighty-eight thousand. We can easily match that. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what to trade. What do they want? Third and sh- second? Maybe they don't have prospects in either. I might trade Pavin Smith. They don't even want Pavin. Damn it. Um, we have a lot of catchers, but they don't have value yet. We have some starters, though. Damn, they don't like any. What do, what do they want? They don't want any trade. They don't want to move them. I don't blame them. All right, Marcel moves the needle. I think we can get this to work. I don't want to include like Alvarez from. I'm not trading Lozano for him. I like him too much as a bat. Uh, I don't want to give up on uh, Pavin Smith. Damn it. Hmm. All right, let's keep looking, I guess. I mean, he's not a terrible player, this Reynolds. Ah, oh, jeez, this is tough. This is tough. Kalenic, eight potential, 71 overall. What do they, they want third baseman? We don't have any. <laughs> but I would trade Pavin Smith. What do they want for new prospects? They don't want to do any. Damn it. Braxton Lee, good fielder. Not sure how much he can. He should have hit a little bit. I like Braxton Lee. All right, they want catchers and shortstops. We have both of those. I kind of don't want to trade. I mean, I'll trade Nunez. I don't want to, but if I have to, I will. But I think we can. I think we can get this to work without it. There we go. Boom, and we're actually saving eighty thousand dollars. There we go. $25 million, our team budget, we did it. I think our team's pretty darn good, too. All right, let's go to spring training. Let's get it. This video's pretty, eh, not too, too long. Let's go to the regular season and uh, get our team all set. Montgomery, Junis, Stripping, Triggs, Klein, I like that. Tim Peterson is our long man. I actually don't hate that with 47 stamina. A very young bullpen. Look how young they are. Peterson is 30. He's not. Winger is 26. Olivios is 19. <laughs> Samuels is 20. Baggett's 18. Brebius is 30. And Diaz is 27. Like, a lot of youngsters, but we'll figure out who sticks. Um, Molina we have down there. All right, that's good. The lineup. This actually should be halfway decent. Um, why is Peralta? They have Lozano playing every day at second. I want Peralta playing at second. And then Duggan. And then I want Santana to be our D8. So Pelletier leading off. I don't hate it. Uh, then probably I'm going to put Correas. Eh, it's put Estrada second. I think he should, eh, he mashes lefties, not righties yet. Peralta second, I guess. Correa Santana, Mejia, Central, Estrado, Duggan, and Braxton. Yeah, I like that. That's not a bad lineup. I think we did good. I think we did good. All right. Um, again, Parala. If Lozano had good durability, I'd love this kid. But he doesn't. So he's just going to get tired after like three days. So I can't do it, coach. All right. Um, Braxton Lee in center. Now, we want Duggan in right because he has the arm. I'm going to have Estrada bat second versus lefties because look at that contact. And Correa, yep, yeah, that's good. And then let's put this in, and then we should be good to go. Um, Estrada, like I said, second. Parala in there. That looks fine. Mejia is in all these lineups. Is he? He doesn't struggle that much against lefty. Let's move him up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, he's batting fifth versus righties. Doesn't bat fifth versus lefties too. Let's be consistent. Now, um, our minor leagues. Okay, the big time prospects. We want them playing every day.
doesn't matter about the non-TH. All right, so let's take a look how we're ranked and then take a look at our prospect situation. Ranked 23rd, but 2nd in speed, 2nd in contact, 30th in power, 22nd in pitching, 15th in defense. I think that will go up. Top prospects. Do we have any big-name prospects? Jake Grooms at 8. AJ Puck, former prospect, who's 25 at 14. Albert Alvarez is at 20. The left fielder we got. Baggett, who's now in the bigs, is at 38, a closer. McGill is at 45. And then Pavin Smith, who's 25 years old, is at 46. And then Molina, who's in AAA, is at 49 as a closer. So not too bad. And how are our scouts? We could slightly improve West and International. And Central, now that does not affect our budget. We're still at $25 million. And we got Jake Junis and Diaz making the $4 million. This is going to be Santana's last year with us, given that he's a free agent. Same with Mejia, most likely. Maybe same with Triggs. But you know what? Correa, look at that. Look at Correa. Four more years. <laughs> He'll be 30. Hopefully we can win by then. I don't know. I think we'll be halfway decent, guys. Hope you did enjoy this video. Please drop a like if you did. I'll talk to you later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.